What's good with it, y'all? Welcome back to A1 Hoop Zone. Y'all already know what to do, man. Smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. Let's get to it, man. So we're back with another one. NBA Quick Hits Prediction Videos Volume Series number 94. Let's dive into it, man. So first game up, got the Pelicans versus the Pistons. Ah, shit, man. <laughs> hey, I don't mean to be disrespectful, man, but Pelicans is a minus 12 favorite. They could be minus 1,200. They're going to beat this team by 1,000. <laughs> but I got the Pelicans minus 12, man. Uh, next game after that, 76 versus the Clippers. Clippers are a minus 9.5 favorite. Again, I'm gonna agree. I'm gonna agree with this one as well. Uh, I feel like the Clippers obviously had a better roster, better team, playing better basketball, and uh, you know, again, the Sixers without Embiid is an extremely vulnerable team. So I don't really see them going in there and beating this Clippers team, man. Uh, next game after that, we got the Cavs versus the Heat. Um, Heat are a minus four and a half favorite. Again, they just had a tough loss against the Pelicans uh, a few nights ago, so I expect them to come out and want to exact some revenge and take that out on the Cavs. Again, the Cavs are still waiting on the return of Donovan Mitchell. So, again, they're vulnerable as well. But they still have a Karis LeVert. They still have uh, Jared Allen. They still have the point guard as well, um, Darius Garland. So, I mean, they, they got a nice squad. But, again, this Heat team, they built to be able to compete with any team. It's just a matter of them making their shots. So, for this one, I'm I'm, I'm going to get a Heat. So, I'm going to get a Heat to a little bit of credit. I'm, I'm, I'm going to go with the Miami Heat on this one at minus four and a half. Uh, next game after that, we got the Warriors versus the Wolves. Again, Wolves is one of the surprise teams of the league uh, this this time around, man. Uh, again, Carl Anthony Towns going down is giving them a different dynamic, so it's giving um, Anthony Edwards more more time to shine and, and show that he is the true leader of this team. However, again, you know, with this Warriors team, man, with Steph Clay and Draymond, that dynamic trio right there, still still that nucleus still intact. You never know on any given night, man. They could definitely go off. Uh, and, and having an extremely high, you know, saying high scoring output. Um, with that said, again, Anthony Edwards has been a one man wrecking crew himself, man. So it's hard to pick against him. You know what I mean? So with this one, I'm gonna go. With, uh, I know the Wolves are a minus three and a half favorite. I'm gonna go with the upset. I'm gonna go with the Warriors at plus three and a half. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll have to wait and see. Would I be surprised the Wolves won? Absolutely not. But we, we're going we're gonna to wait and see what, what, what Steph and Clay might have left in the gas tank. Uh, next game after that, man, we got the Thunder versus the Bucks. Bucks are a minus three favorite. I'm going with the Thunder at, at plus three on this one as well. Uh, I feel like they're going to go in there. Again, this 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 OKC team has the roster to be able to compete with any any other team. And they also have a great um, great opportunity to match it up extremely well with Giannis and them as well. You know what I mean? They, they, they're they a lengthy, young team, definitely love to run uh, and get up and down the court. Uh, they're going to put a lot of pressure on Dana, definitely step up on both ends of the court. Uh, with Shea Gillis, Alexander is going to do that as well. So I, I think, I think the, uh, I think the Thunder have a, l a little more firepower than the Bucks do. So we'll have to wait and see how that plays out. And then last game of the night, man, we got the Pacers versus my Lakers. My Lakers are a minus three and a half favorite, and I'm definitely rocking with that, man. If, you, if you're if new to the channel and you're unsure, I am a diehard Lakers fan. However, I am not delusional about my fandom, so I, I, I'm going to rock out my team on any individual one-off one, one -off game. I'm picking them every single time. If we talk about a series, we can have a conversation. With that said, man, I'm going to go ahead and give you all this recap of these picks, and I'm going to go ahead and get up out the way, man. Uh, first game, again, uh, I got the Pelicans over the Pistons at minus 12. I got the Clippers over the 76ers at minus nine and a half. I had the Heat over the Cavs at minus four and a half. I got the Warriors over the Wolves at plus three and a half. I got the Thunder over the Bucks at plus three. And I got the Lakers over the Pacers at minus three and a half, man. But that's all I got for y'all. I appreciate you stopping through again. Make sure you hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. Leave a comment in the comment section. I'll be sure to respond to each and every one of y'all. And as always, man, I appreciate you sliding through. And I'll be back with y'all another one, man.